A large crane on a high rise building in New York caught fire this morning, partially collapsing and causing debris to fall to the ground. It was a scary scene there. For more on the very latest, joining us now is Fox 5's Antoine Lewis. Antoine, thanks so much for being with us here. And several people were also injured in this incident, right? Yeah, we just got updated totals, Lexi. There were 12 injuries. Three of those were to firefighters. Now, anyone that's watching, if you're familiar with the landscape of Manhattan, we're on the west side in Hell's Kitchen. Let's show you what's going on here because where we are remains blocked to traffic, but Roy is going to give you a look at where the attention and the focus is right now because there is still debris hanging from both of the buildings that were impacted, which officials say has the potential to fall below. So what you're seeing are crews putting up a mesh curtain of sorts to try to contain that debris. Around 7.30 Wednesday morning, officials say the crane on top of this building under construction in Hell's Kitchen started burning out of control. And then the unthinkable happened just as firefighters started arriving on scene. We had a collapse. The top part of the crane, the boom, and a 16-ton load crashed to the ground. The boom fell some 45 stories, smashing windows of a neighboring building on its way down to West 41st and 10th Avenue. Emergency crews evacuated buildings in the immediate area. Michael Lyles, one of those who ran for cover. Once they hit the street, it was like another boom, another boom explosion. And then you just saw everybody running everywhere. Everybody trying to get shelter, the construction guys running. Even, even at the fire department people, they was running to as well. Authorities quickly blocked off streets within close proximity. Firefighters attacked the blaze from buildings nearby as the blaze hit five alarm status. Officials say at least nine civilians and two firefighters received non-life-threatening injuries. The crane was lifting 16 tons of concrete when the fire happened. And that weight of 16 tons is attached by a cable. And as the fire heats the cable, the cable weakens to a point where it loses its strength and that's where the collapse occurred. As you see from the debris on the street, uh, this could have been much worse. Uh, we are extremely fortunate. The Department of Buildings says checking the structural integrity of all buildings impacted will be the primary focus going forward in their investigation. We have a specific uh, cranes and derricks unit. All of the DOB personnel is here or en route. And when they have an, a chance to assess it, we will have more answers for you. So as you come back to us live, what you're looking at now is the window washing platform because crews are inspecting the side of the building where the crane fell into on its way down to where we are again on 10th Avenue. Again, this is all because there is still debris that is hanging from both of the buildings and this is what the officials here want to make sure it does not fall down. So that's why they're putting those measures into place. In regards to the crane, we understand that it will be dismantled at some point and that will be brought down also as well as we've gotten an update about what the structural preliminary preliminary reports say and that it appears that both buildings right now appear to be structurally sound. So Lexi, this is the very latest. Again, all of these updates are coming fast and furious, but we want to make sure we're bringing the very latest information to everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Antoine, great reporting as always. A very scary situation there, but we appreciate that update. No problem. And more, more scary because this way leads to the Port Authority. So as you're looking at tunnel traffic coming out, People just walking along, going about their business. So it is absolutely a miracle that none of that concrete, 16 tons of concrete fell, injured anyone. Yeah, it, it truly is. Antoine, thank you so much for that update. I'm sure we'll be talking again soon with you and your team at Fox 5 for another update later on. Stay safe. You as well. Thanks so much.